Hi everyone out there in YouTube land. Are you ready for a Bath and Body Works and Halloween fall home decor extravaganza? I know I am. So um, before I get started, I'm going to tell you the three goals that I'm going to have for this video. One is to not forget anything that I need to refer to while I'm showing you my items because I always inevitably stop the video to go look for something. Number two, I'm going to try this time to not knock the camera over. And number three, I'm going to try to keep Malcolm from eating or running away with or otherwise annoying me during this video. So here we go. Okay, so the first day I went to Bath and Body Works, and let me tell you how I found this Bath and Body Works. So if you guys have been watching my videos, then you know that um, I had a, a rant about a few weeks ago that I had gone to my normal Bath and Body Works store and with my friend and that they it was just a horrible experience and I will never go back to that location. Okay, so I've been frequenting Yankee Candle and uh, more often, even though it's not close to me. And it's in a shopping area, like an outdoor mall type area. And I've never driven into the parking lot any further than the Yankee Candle, which is right at the beginning of it. And lo and behold, the one day that I did drive past Yankee Candle, there was a Bath and Body Works there. You know? So I was very happy about that. And it's in a much better sort of high class area where a lot of richer people live. And so this particular Bath and Body Works has everything. Everything that you see online plus more, it's just a great store and everything. People are really nice and they leave you alone. They don't harass you every five minutes with, can I help you, can I help you, can I help you? So anyway, oh, in typical New York fashion, you are going to hear the noises of the city. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the first day I went, I went on Thursday, and I had a 30% off coupon. There are two things that I really wanted, and I was able to get them both. The first thing is this Cutie Cutie Pie Black Cat Soap Dispenser, and it's a black cat sitting on a pumpkin. Um, this is an empty soap dispenser. This does not have soap in it. It would be kind of nice if it did. Um, but anyway, it says, Perfectly Spooky and Sudsy Hand Soap Dispenser. And this was twelve fifty, but then with the thirty percent off, it was ten dollars. So not great, but not bad. And I'm going to uh, fill this with this soap, which I haven't quite finished yet, which is the French lavender and vanilla, which is in this gorgeous glass bottle. But, you know, now it's time to say goodbye to summer and spring and flowers and stuff. So, this soap is going to go in here. Okay, so then the next thing that I picked up is this basket soap holder. And it's got a little apple on it and kind of looks like a wicker basket. It's very cute in the inside. And this is marked nine fifty. Oh, and it says Bath and Body Works at the bottom. How cute. Um, so it was $9.50, and then with the 30% off, it was $7.60. So again, not great, but not bad. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put my soap in it, which... Here, you know what? I'm not going to have to get up because... Okay, I'll show you. This is a soap... This is from the sweet shop. This is like strawberries... Something... Anyway, um, so this is a sleeve that I have on this soap from last year. I have all old soaps from like, you know, before they changed the bottle because I bought them at the semi-annual sale. So um, none of the new sleeves fit the old style soaps. So in order to, you know, combat that, you know, you would have to put your soap, uh, if you don't have one of these old sleeves, you would put your soap in um, one of these type holders. Now, the good thing about these holders is that, you know, like I said, it fits the old style soap. But the bad thing about it is if you keep it on your kitchen sink and you're a klutz like I am, um, you will inevitably knock it into your sink and it'll break into a million pieces. I've had it happen before. That's something that I noticed with Bath & Body Works Ceramic. If you drop it even on a carpet, it will shatter very very easily it's not particularly you know well made um, in that respect also if you get these in metal 
they did have a metal one that looks like a basket with a squirrel. The metal rusts on the inside at the bottom. Um, you know, if you splash water on it, depending on what sink you put it at. If I have it at my kitchen sink, while you're washing dishes, inevitably water will splash onto it, water will get in it, and the bottom will rust. And you can kind of scrub it out with like a Brillo pad and stuff, but you never really get all of it out. But that doesn't really matter because, you know, when you put the soap on top of it, um, you know, who cares? Nobody's going to see it. Okay, so that was the first trip. Now, the second trip... I went on Friday and they were doing their 10 off of 30 coupon and the candles were 2 for 30, no, 2 for 22 or 3 for 33. So I broke up my orders and I did 3 for 33 and then $10 off. So I'm going to show you these orders. So now these candles, if you get the, if you do the 3 for 33 deal with the $10 off coupon, each candle comes out to $7.67. You're not even going to do better than that at the semi-annual sale. Unless you pick up, um, you know, a, if you're lucky enough to find a $5 candle, which, you know, who knows what will be left at that time. So this was an excellent time to go and get candles, not that I need any more. But anyway, I'll show you what I picked up. So the first thing that I picked up is leaves. Now, I, I love this new packaging of leaves. It's really pretty. And it's the We Love Fall collection, and it has the um, embossed lid. Now, I have leaves in this owl. Um, see? But, and I picked this up for like 8 bucks when it was on sale. The thing is, though, um, I'm not sure if I want to burn this. I don't know. I know that if after I burn it, I probably could use this as a mini candle holder, but I'm not sure if I want to burn it yet. So, because of that, I decided to pick up um, a three-wick. Of leaves and I love leaves you know I was I was a newcomer to leaves a late late comer to leaves everybody would rave and rave about leaves and finally I gave in and I embraced the leaves so yeah leaves gets my seal of approval can you guys see that it's, yeah I know it's a corny shirt anyway so the next one that I got is tailgate I really like the label on this. It's so pretty. It's got a football and leaves and stuff. And I really like the smell. It's like a very manly smell. I smelled the the Yankee Candle version of this. I don't f remember what it's called. I think maybe it is called Tailgate. And it smelled like a football. Like it literally smelled like the, the pigskin, the... Like if you sniff the football, that's what it smelled like, the Yankee version. This one, it's got a nice, fresh, manly cologne scent. So the description on this one is, it's game day. Capture all the fun of tailgating on a fall afternoon in a blend of dark cedarwood, sage, and a touch of soft musk. Now, I had already bought this in the mason jar um, a while ago. Mason jar is but ugly. This is what the mason jar looks like. It's just like, like, compare the two. Look how gorgeous they went with the packaging on this, and then what did they do here? I, I don't know. So, anyway. Then the next thing that I wanted to show you, okay, so then um, the next candle that I got is um, one that I had already bought a three wick of and already have a mason jar of it. But I love it so, so much. It is like my new favorite candle that I had to pick up another one. And that is Banana Nutmeg Bread Pudding. I love, love, love this candle. On cold sniff, it kind of has a candy banana smell. And it kind of smells like banana nut bread. It's very warm and comforting. But when you light it, I mean, the scent throw is great, at least on the one that I've been burning. It's been spectacular. Um, it just has this warm, rich, banana nut bread kind of smell uh, with a little hint of that. I can smell a little hint of that banana pudding in there, like sort of like a candy banana. But it's, it's just such a great scent. I love it, love it. And I love the color of the wax. And they don't make too many um, candles. Uh, Bath and Body Works, I don't know when they've ever made a candle that was this color. Um... I can't, well, except for like the lemon candles. It's so, so good. If you haven't picked this one up, pick it up. 
the next one that I got, and I'm not reading the description on all of these because I think people kind of already know what they are. They've been out for a while, and the title is pretty self-explanatory. So the next one that I got, and I know you guys are going to say, why did you get this candle? It's just a repackage of Marshmallow Fireside. Yes, I know that, and I'm not a huge fan of Marshmallow Fireside. But it, I, I had one last year, and I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, but I had to get it in this packaging because it's just so cute. And that is Trick or Treat with the pumpkins on it. It's really pretty. I was hoping that Yankee would do more um, Halloween candles. They gave us three soaps and one candle. Why didn't they do three candles? Why didn't they do vampire blood in a candle? Why didn't they do Hootberry? I, I don't know. And why would Trick or Treat, a candle called Trick or Treat, be um, smell like marshmallows? I would think it would smell like candy corn, but anyway. And uh, when I had looked at the preview list, like when it, they were saying what candles might come out and what might not, you know, way back, um, there was supposed to be one called Toil and Trouble. What happened to that one? So, anyway, yeah, it smells exactly, it's, it's Marshmallow Fireside in a different packaging. But if you like Marshmallow Fireside and you want a cute packaging, I would suggest this candle. So the description on this reads, Wickedly good, a scary blend of freshly toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and vanilla bean. Now the next two candles that I get, I uh, got, oh, I'm forgetting how to speak English. The next two candles that I got, um, I very rarely buy two of the same candle at the same time. I usually, you know, want to burn it first before I go buy multiples, you know, unless I super love it. And in this case, I super loved it which is unusual because I typically don't like bakery scents, but I really love this one. And that is Pumpkin Sugar Donut. It's a beautiful orange wax. I got two of these. Um, my friend, the shopping enabler, he likes bakery scents. He picked up four of them. It smells really good. I know that's not a very good description. You do get the cinnamon and the pumpkin and the donut. I want to see what it smells like compared to cinnamon sugar donut. If you could really smell the pumpkin in comparison. Yeah, you definitely can. This one just smells like a cinnamon sugar donut and this one you can definitely smell the pumpkin. I don't know. I'm, it's not... It's a good amount of pumpkin. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's a good amount of pumpkin. I really like this one. That's why I got two of them. And if it burns as good as it smells on cold sniff, I am going to stack up on this one. This one and the banana nutmeg bread pudding. Which, that name, it just, you know, whatever. Anyway. So, then I, uh, the last two things that I got uh, that I used my 10 off a of 30 coupon which I think they were really overpriced, but even with the 10 off of 30. Now I'm going to attempt to find my coupon for what I use for that. Okay, here it is. So I got this um, Pumpkin Cafe candle holder. You guys have probably seen this before. It's got a little topper that goes on the candle. Then you put the candle in here, and then it sits in this base. It's actually very, very cute. Um, my friend, the shopping enabler, picked up one. I really love it. I think it's adorable and perfect for Halloween, for autumn, for fall, just in general. Really, really nice. Um, so this is marked $15, which I think is like really pricey. Um, but with the coupon, it came out to $10, so and eight cents. So that's not too bad. Then the next thing that I got was this um, pillar. It's a really light, almost like a, I don't think it's made out of glass. Maybe fiberglass. Does it say what it's made out of? It doesn't say. Is this pillar candle holder? And it's very shiny and sparkly. And I really like it. I think it's a good all year round pillar. I think it's going to be even more spectacular around New Year's when they come out with their, like, you know, celebrate good times candles or whatever they're called, like black tie and spice apple toddy and party dress, like the ones the last year. I think this will be really cute with that, but I'm going to start using it right away, you know, with my fall stuff. Okay, and this one was marked 
1550 again, which is I think ridiculous for a pillar because I picked up a pillar at Marshall's, um, which I would have. I'm not going to stop the video to go get it. Um, I'm going to keep the video going. So just give me one second. I knew I was going to do it. I knew I was going to forget something. Okay. I picked up this ginormous pillar at Marshall's for $7.99. And this thing, like you could bludgeon somebody with this. This is really heavy and really well made, I think. And if you dropped it, I don't think it would break. I mean, unless you like slammed it on the floor or whatever. But this was $7.99 and the other pillar, the the Crappamente pillar from Bath and Body Works, this one, even though it's cuter, um, $15.50? This is like really, really light. This is Okay, and it was this was half the price at Marshall's. But anyway, so uh, this one came out to $10.42, you know, because I used the coupon. Okay, so that concludes the um, Bath and Body Works portion. Um, they are giving out a new coupon, as if I needed more stuff. This is what the new coupon looks like, and it's for a free body care item when you spend $10 or more. So, and that's up to... Fourteen fifty, I would think. Yeah, up to fourteen dollars. So you're not going to be able to get that pumpkin pecan waffle two in one gigantic bottle because that's like sixteen something, sixteen fifty or whatever it is. Um, they are coming out with wild Madagascar vanilla. They show it here on the back. It looks pretty. The woman in the store sprayed it on me. The sales associate sprayed it on my arm so I could smell it. It smells like warm vanilla sugar. I don't see what's different. And for a full scent vanilla, that's the creativity that Bath & Body Works has. I mean, they give us vanilla practically all year round. Um, we get vanilla bean Noel at Christmas time. Now they're giving us Madagascar vanilla. I think that um, Sean over at Hearth & Soul is absolutely right when he says that Bath & Body Works must have two giant vats of vanilla and cinnamon and they just put them in everything. I don't know what it is with them. Maybe that's the cheapest scents or something. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some other very, very cool stuff that I got from other places. So, oh, I went to Yankee Candle. They did not have what I wanted. I had wanted the um, Bony Bunch Baby in the High Chair. I wanted Dawn of the Dead Candle Topper, and I wanted the, well, they had the candy dish, but being that they didn't have the other two, I wasn't going to get the candy dish, because the candy dish is $10 when you spend $35. Well, anyway, so I picked up these unscented tea lights for $5.99, which I should have probably waited because now they're everything in the store is 30% off, but whatever. Um, so because I have been using these Bath and Body Works tea lights, which they don't even make anymore, this w these were 30 unscented tea lights, and these were really cheap when I had gotten them. They were like probably around the same price, probably around... Oh no, they were $8. I'm sorry, excuse me. It says it right at the bottom. And these were for use with their oil warmers so but I've been and it says burns approximately 3.5 hours so I've been needless to say it didn't take me very long to go through this box um, and I've been using it with my wax warmers which is probably not a good idea because I'm not getting much scent out of my wax so I'm hoping that when I transfer over to the actual Yankee Candle ones it'll be better I will let you guys know the other stuff that I picked up um, I went to CVS and a lot of their um, Halloween decorations are cheap and crappy and plasticky or, you know, like paper or whatever. But they did have two, um, a couple of cute things. So, they had these two wooden block signs. They were um, two for six dollars. So I got this one in purple and it says the witch is in. Which I really like that and I was just looking for the appropriate vessel to have the uh, this um, imprinted on it. I've seen the witch is in on other... Um, items, but I thought it was really cute on this thing. Okay, and then the other one that I got for the two for six is this one that says Happy Halloween. So, and this is what it looks like on the inside. You just kind of put it on your table, and it's really nice. The next thing that I picked up at CVS is this um, candle, this flameless candle. Um, it's an LED candle. So, um, it says Sleepy Hollow Tavern. And it's got the headless horseman on it. Um, and then it, it says you could try it, but see, so that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. 
I'm not usually a fan of these LED candles, but I really like this one. I'm a huge fan of Sleepy Hollow. If you have not had the opportunity to travel to Sleepy Hollow, New York, you absolutely should. Um, if you're a fan of like uh, gothic things, macabre things, or just a fan of literature in general, uh, it's a great place to visit, a beautiful small town to visit. Um, you can visit Washington Irving's house. Washington Irving, of course, is the uh, author of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And uh, you can see um, the homes and the, the places um, where, um, on which the book is based. The characters in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow are based on people that had lived during Washington Irving's time. Um, and you can see the grave where the character that the Headless Horseman is based on is supposedly buried in an unmarked grave. Anyway, it's just a really super cool place. And they have really nice stuff especially during Halloween. I had picked up a uh, bumper sticker that said, I lost my head in Sleepy Hollow. So it, it's just really a cool place. Go check out Sleepy Hollow. You will love it. Um, okay, so then the next thing that I picked up, I had gone to... Where did I go? I went to Marshall's. I picked up this really nice picture frame. It's on like a stick. It's a picture frame on a stick. But it's very gothic looking. It's kind of gold and stuff. I don't know if you can see it there. <clears throat> I don't know what picture I'm going to put in it. Maybe a picture of Malcolm in his doggy Halloween costume. But I really, really like this. And this was $6.99. Then while I was there, I was surprised to find a Goose Creek candle. And yes, I know, I, I didn't listen to my own advice. Never buy Goose Creek from an outlet. Always buy direct from the company because when you buy from the outlet and... It, it, this candles are going to suck. But anyway, I got this one, I think, more for decorative purposes than for scent, so it doesn't really matter. So I found this, and I was surprised to find it at Marshall's. It was $9.99, and it's, it's like a pilgrim. It's a Thanksgiving candle, and it says there is always something to be thankful for. And it's just really, really adorable. So, yeah, I really like it. Anyway, the scent is, it's a 20... 26, 26 ounce jar and the scent apple cider. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a generic apple cider scent. It's not, you know, doesn't bowl me over. But like I said, because the packaging is so beautiful and I love the label, I'm just going to use this for ornamental purposes. The next thing that I picked up, and this was at a different, oh no, this was at the same Marshalls, I'm sorry, are the spiderweb, um, Place mats. These were $1.99 each. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see them? They're really pretty. Um, and they're vinyl, so I got two of these for $1.99 each. They go very nicely with my spider tablecloth. Um, then I went to a different Marshalls and I picked up this owl taper candle holder. And that's what it looks like. It's really pretty and spooky and nice for Halloween or for autumn. And this was, I don't know why Malcolm is barking. It is $12.99, so I thought that was really nice. And then, of course, I needed some taper candles to go in it. And I didn't want to get black candles because I didn't think it would show up very well. So I found these candles. They're really pretty. Uh, of course, I'm not going to light these. I'm just going to use it as decoration. Um, these are Bella Lux Silk Spun Taper Candles. It's a set of four. This is what they look like. I don't know if you can tell that they're like shiny metallic orange with like glitter. So these were $5.99. So I'm going to put these candles with this candle holder and hopefully it'll look really nice. So yeah, that's the extent of my haul. I really didn't want to go overboard with it. Yeah, that's everything. So that's all the stuff that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.